Hi, I'm Ashton. I forgot to do my intro, so yeah. Hello, it's bath time again. I had a extremely stressful, just really shitty week, and I needed a bath, so I'm taking a bath. I think I put a bit too much water in, but like. So I have a pink bath bomb called the Gold Rush from Soapy Shop. Um, I've used Soapy Shop bath bombs before people have sent me to them and I don't know who sent me this one because it was such a long time ago and these orders don't come with notes because they're from like a third party seller or something but you know who you are and I love you and I appreciate you and if it is you like DM me or leave a comment on this or whatever also I would just like to point out that the glitter in here is mica glitter which means it is biodegradable and they always smell very nice I would definitely recommend this brand, um, sponsor me. <laughs> the bath bombs don't float, but they make such a nice sound and they smell extremely good and they're usually like super colorful too. So I have no complaints. This is, this reminds me of like, um, rose gold or rose quartz or something like that. So I don't entirely know why I'm making this video, but I normally make baths of video. I think I've had like one bath with a bath bomb that I didn't record which is slightly odd if you think about it too much, so just don't think about it too much. So I guess I just kind of wanted to talk about my week a bit, get some weight off, and then talk about some like video plans I have. Cause I don't know, like I have so many things that I want to make, but I don't know if they would like actually interest people. And I know that should really be like one of my last priorities, but I don't want to make videos if I enjoy them and other people don't. So I don't know why, but coming back from spring break is like, the worst week always and that's what this past week was so i just had so many things that i'd forgotten about and i got everything in like i didn't get I, nothing was late or anything but it was still just a lot of work physics was really difficult this week my teacher did like a really mean thing and it was not fun <sighs> i've been really struggling with my body image the musical that my boyfriend's in is like getting to the end of its rehearsals so rehearsals are longer and they're constant and i haven't been able to like properly hang out with him in like two or three weeks, which sucks. But I totally get it, and I like absolutely support him, and I'm so excited to go see the musical. I know people are gonna ask what it is, so it is Peter and Starcatchers, and he is playing, uh, uh, what's his name, Blackstash, the pirate who is essentially Captain Hook. I don't know, just this past week, I've been like super insecure, and it's difficult to make videos when I feel like this, just in the sense that like, I don't like my voice, and I don't like my face, and my face has been not so great recently, because my derma has really picked up. I made a video, another video about dermatomania, which a lot of people have been asking for. Um, so if you're interested in derma or you want to learn more about it, that's a good option. I also finally put out the video like completely explaining my whole complication, which was a relief because I was kind of dreading recording that just because of like looking back at the pictures. I, was, I knew I was just going to be like, but it was fine. Um, I've started to record the video about my septum, which is currently sideways. I have eight minutes of that video done. I'm gonna finish filming it when I'm like a month healed. So expect that video in about a month. So I think today I'm gonna film quite a few videos, this being the first one. I wanna do an updated crystal collection because I've like gathered quite a few new stones since I made the first video on them. And a lot of you guys liked that video, so I'm just gonna show the ones that I've got since then. Um, I think I'm gonna film the patches and parley. I have two patches to sew on, but I think I'll just do one today. And maybe film another one next weekend. I've also been doing subcutaneous shots for two or three months now, so I wanna do a video comparing subcutaneous shots versus intramuscular shots when it comes to testosterone. I don't know when that'll be up because I do want to like, I don't normally script videos, but for like more informative videos like that one, I do tend to like write down a few points that I wanna talk about because I will often skip over things, but I may film that today too. Um, Cause I do have video clips of me doing intramuscular shots from a few months ago. And I just took one a few Thursdays ago of me doing a subcutaneous shot. So I do want to include both of those and then like talk over them, talk around them, stuff like that. I don't know, I just had a really, really long week and there's like a lot of stressful things that happened and I don't want to talk about all of them. Um, but yesterday was really nice. I went out with a couple friends and one of them was getting his first piercing. 
Um, so I went in with him to do that. And then we wandered around a bit and looked in a few like thrifty secondhand stores. And we went and got pizza. And then I went to my cousin's house to meet his new baby. There's two of them now. They're tiny and very, very sweet and I love them. So yesterday was like busy, but it was good. I didn't manage to get any homework done, so today I'm gonna have to finish annotating a book. Um, but I think that's actually all the homework I have. And I've already annotated most of the book. I'm a pretty quick annotator, so, you know. Also, I've pretty much decided that in therapy this summer, um, we're gonna dedicate, like, a lot of time to trauma work, which is super scary, and it's not something that I've talked about on this channel yet, um, just because it is, like, really personal, and I might make videos on it once I've actually, you know, gotten through more of it, and um, recovered more, but right now it's not something I want to talk about. I also do want to make a video about my puppy. Um, he just turned three years old recently, and I asked him on Twitter if people would be interested in seeing a video about him, and I think he got like a hundred votes or something along those lines, but literally everybody said yes. There was, there were no votes for no, so um, dogs are good, and I'm gonna make a video about mine at some point. He's like a double rescue kind of situation. Um, it's a long story. I guess it's not that long of a story, but it's an interesting story. It's a cute story. I got pictures. It'll be good. My friend Ryland put out a video the other day, um, of him opening, like, a package from his long-distance boyfriend, and it was the cutest video I've seen all week, and I literally almost cried because seeing him that happy is, like, so good. Um, a lengthy video, I guess, and he's just, oh my god, it was so cute, and he said, oh my god, like, dozens of times, um, but it was literally one of the purest videos I've ever seen, and if you just want to smile and, like, see a cute boy opening cute stuff from another boy, it's a good time. So that, like, literally made my day yesterday, and I needed that so bad. My boyfriend's a year older than me, so I have another year of high school, and he's going off to college next year. I don't know where he's going yet, but he has two scholarships to an in-state private school. And if it's in-state, like, he won't be that far away, but I'll still definitely see him less often. And when I go to college, I'll be even less often. Um, so that video kind of, like, reassured me, like, I'll be okay, I'll manage. And now I, like, totally want to put together, like, a little box of just random cute things for him to send him while we're, like, miles away. So I think I'm going to do that at some point. Jack will probably watch this video and be like, Ashton, that's gay. And hell yeah, it is. So some of you probably know, if you follow my Instagram, that I went up to Canada for spring break um, last week. And it was good. Um, I went to visit colleges and I ended up visiting four colleges as well as two, like, faculties slash more specific colleges. Um, they're all in Ontario and... I don't know, just visiting them made me like a lot less terrified of going to college in another country. Of course, I don't know yet where I'm going. I still have time, but I did get my ACT score back, um, which Americans in high school you know about, but if you don't know what the ACT is, it's like a very standardized test that I'm pretty sure high school students are required to take. You may not be required to take it, but um, most colleges, like a lot of colleges, will ask for either that test or something somewhat similar called the SAT. But my ACT score was like really good, <laughs> which um, is a bit of a surprise, but that means that I don't have to take it again, which is a huge relief. Because some people will take the ACT like 10 times trying to get the best score that they can. I also want to make a video at some point on why I don't want bottom surgery right now. Um, it's a question that I get, like, a lot, which is odd because it's really invasive, and I know that I do put my transition out there, but, like, people should still know that there are boundaries, and if I want to talk about it, I will, but my genitals are, like, my business and not really anybody else's. So if you've asked about it, like, don't feel bad, whether it's out of curiosity or if you are also trans, um, but, like, please leave my dick alone. Also, transition-wise, um, I don't think I'm going to make another top surgery video until six months after. Um, and I'm cutting down my testosterone updates to every three months. Now that I've been on it for a year, I feel like I don't need to do, you know, 13 months, 14 months, stuff like that. But I'll still do them, but they'll just be every three months. And then the same with top surgery stuff, unless something else happens with, you know, my complication. And I'll still talk about it in, like, Q&As or whatever. 
Um, but it's just not going to be like something that happens super often anymore. Also, it's like more of my in real life friends have been like finding out about this channel. Like a few of my more, you know, non-binary and genderqueer friends have been like, your video got recommended to me. And I'm just like, oh, that's awkward. I'm sorry. Is that okay? Like, is this a thing I should apologize for? And then some people have like found it through my Instagram and, you know, it's just kind of uncomfortable for me but like i get it and i knew that this would happen at some point it's honestly worse when they bring it up in real life and they're like oh but i don't like watch because i don't want to invade on your privacy because like i get it but honestly if i'm putting something on the internet um for like the public i don't care if my friends watch it for the most part like <laughs> If I know you in real life and you're watching this, like, cool, it's fine, you know? You're allowed to do that. I just don't want people to feel awkward about it or like, oh, you're, you know, famous because I, I hate that word and I don't like it when, like, people refer to themselves as fans. Like, okay, you can enjoy my videos, you can enjoy my personality. Are we friends then? Because, like, I feel like I'm not worthy of having fans, you know? But then it also goes the opposite way, where like, some of you guys that watch my videos, those of you that follow my, like, public Instagram, sometimes my private will pop up, like, and recommend it to that. Um, and I get that you request to follow it, but like, that's for my friends, that's for like, people that I know in real life, and I don't mind when people request, except for sometimes people will request like, ten times if I keep denying them, and I'm like, dude, this is private. Like, I'm sorry, but if I don't know you, I'm not gonna let you follow that account. Like, it's not anything bad. It's just that some things I do want separate from my internet life. <laughs> so again, if you've done that, don't feel bad. Just like, please stop. I don't know. I don't wanna sound mean, but honestly, I'm just not comfortable with that. Anyways, yeah, I had a really long week. It was not fun. It was not a good time, but I made it through and I'm here now and I'm having a bath and it's nice. My fingers are starting to get like super wrinkly, so I'm gonna hop out of the bath now um, and film some more videos, maybe do some annotations. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry this was just kind of like a rambly life update kind of thing, but I hope you enjoyed chatting with me anyway. I'm gonna be covering gold mica for the rest of my life. I hope that you had a more relaxing and stress-free week than I did, and I'll talk to you later, maybe.